St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from Mrs. Lucille Harty from Gambo South, Newfoundland. This Mass is offered in memory of her husband Raymond and for all the deceased members of the Burgess, Kelly and Hardy families, also for special intentions and in thanksgiving for God's blessings. Mrs. Harty is here with us today with her three daughters, son and future daughter-in-law. We welcome you all and thank you for choosing to remember your husband Raymond with the gift of this Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate the mystery of Christ's love, let us first of all acknowledge our failures and sins, and ask God for pardon and forgiveness. You raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. You bring light to those in darkness. Christ, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, our source of power and inspiration, give us strength and joy in serving you as followers of Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. To those who repent, God grants a return and encourages those who are losing hope. Turn back to the Lord and forsake your sins. Pray in his presence and lessen your offense. Return to the Most High and turn away from iniquity and hate intensely what he abhors. Who will sing praises to the Most High in the grave in place of the living who give thanks? From the dead, as from one who does not exist, thanksgiving has ceased. Those who are alive and sing well the Lord's praises. How great is the mercy of the Lord and his forgiveness for those who return to him. The word of the Lord. Let the just exult and rejoice in the Lord. Let the just exult and rejoice in the Lord. Happy are those whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Happy are those to whom the Lord imputes no iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no deceit. Let the just exult and rejoice in the Lord. Then I acknowledged my sin to you. And I did not hide my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord. And you forgave the guilt of my sin. Let the just exalt and rejoice. Therefore, let all who are faithful offer prayer to you, 
At a time of distress, the rush of mighty waters shall not reach them. Let the just exult and rejoice in the Lord. Jesus Christ was rich, but he became poor to make you rich out of his poverty. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. As Jesus was setting out on a journey, a man ran up and knelt before him and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. You shall not defraud. Honor your father and mother. The man said to Jesus, Teacher, I have kept all these since my youth. Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said, You lack one thing. Go, sell what you own, and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. When he heard this, the man was shocked and went away grieving, for he had many possessions. Then Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How hard it will be for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. And the disciples were perplexed at these words. But Jesus said to them again, Children, how hard it is for those who trust in riches to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. They were greatly astounded and said to one another, Then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For mortals it is impossible, but not for God. For God, all things are possible. The Gospel of the Lord. The man who came to Jesus had a very good question, a question that manifested his faith and its maturity. I don't think he wanted to hear just a word of approval or of confirmation of how good he was. He had a genuine desire to go a little bit further in his spiritual life and the relationship with God. I am sure that this is that question that often resounds in our hearts. What should I do? to inherit eternal life. After all, we need to assure ourselves to remember with the sense of conviction and to believe that eternal life is a reality to which we have been called by God. What should I do? What should you do to inherit eternal life? Is there a recipe? A prescription? Maybe a pill. Yes, a pill would be a good thing. Or maybe some powder that you dissolve in a little bit of water for a tasty and refreshing drink. We live in an era that everything is brought to the level of being nice, quick, and painless. 
satisfaction guaranteed or money back. Christ doesn't take shortcuts. He is not promising any instant gratification. It is a hard work. It is a work of a lifetime from our birth until the very moment of our death. Christ is quite radical too. Go, sell all you have, give the money to the poor, and you will have a treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. And he guarantees not the satisfaction and life without problems in this world, but the satisfaction of the world to come for eternity, the joy of eternal life. The satisfaction that Christ promises is not measured by the thickness of the wallet or the number of zeros after the comma on your bank statement. All those things pass away just as our very lives pass away. Just as when we gather in this church and so often offer our daily mass for our deceased brothers and sisters, we can be sure that they too were looking for the way to inherit eternal life. All of them should be a reminder for us that life is short and fragile and we cannot allow ourselves to be deceived by instantaneous satisfactions. What truly satisfies us and gives us peace is when we do the will of God, who is good to us at all times. Jesus says to the man who came to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. Do I believe this? Even when God might ask me to renounce myself, my possessions, be separated from my family, losing someone dear to me, do I call him good? In his message for the upcoming time of Lent, Pope Benedict XVI says that no one earns eternal life through their own effort. And this is something we need to be conscious of. Eternal life is a gift from above. It is not what we can merit. It is not that we can merit it with our good behavior. God wants to give it to us. And it will be given to those who are ready to trust in God's goodness and his providence. Give to God without counting the cost. Give him a chance to show you what it means to be satisfied by him, not just for a moment, but for whole eternity. And this gift is given to us also at this Eucharist, the gift above every other gift. Here on this altar, Christ opens for us, through the merit of his death and resurrection, the door to eternal life. Let us be confident and enter with him. Let us now stand and offer our prayers to our Heavenly Father. We pray for the church on earth, the visible sign of God's presence, that it may be for all people a sign of God's love, and that it may bring many people to the knowledge of the good God. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray for the world that we live in, for all those places where there is turmoil and uprising, for all those who are in power, that they may ask for the wisdom from above and govern people with justice. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray for those who suffer in body and spirit, all those who are lonely, all those who have not met with God's love that they may be consoled and that they may meet with the risen Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord Let us pray for all those who have left us and have gone to the house of the Father. Today in a special way for Raymond Harty and for all the members of the families. For our friends and benefactors, 
that you, Lord, may, bear, may be merciful with them and welcome them into your kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord and for all of us gathered here around God's altar, that we may be ready to follow Christ wherever he wants to lead us, we pray to the Lord. Lord God our Father, we pray that you may listen to all those prayers that we have entrusted to you and also those that we carry within our hearts. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To your goodness we have this word to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the divine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord God, may the gifts we offer bring us your love and forgiveness and give us freedom to serve you with our lives. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, Powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. In him you have renewed all things, and you have given us all a share in his riches. Though his nature was divine, he stripped himself of glory. And by shedding his blood on the cross, he brought his peace to the world. Therefore he was exalted above all creation, and became the source of eternal life to all who serve him. And so with all the choirs of angels in heaven, we proclaim your glory, and join in their unending hymn of praise. holy indeed, the fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. 
he broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. He gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Praise to you, Lord Jesus, firstborn from the dead. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord Jesus, until you In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Benedict, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Uh...
This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. Would those of you at home join with me now in this prayer by Henry Francis Light? Abide with me, fast falls the eventide, the darkness deepens, Lord, with me abide. When other helpers fail and comforts flee, help of the helpless, O oh, abide with me. Swift to its close, ebbs out life's little day. Earth's joys grow dim, its glories pass away. Change and decay in all around I see. O thou who changes not, abide with me. Hold thou thy cross before my closing eyes. Shine through the gloom and point me to the skies. Heaven's morning breaks, and earth's vain shadows flee, in life, in death, O Lord, abide with me. Let us pray. Lord, may this Eucharist help us to remain faithful. May it teach us the way to eternal life. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Amen. Our thanks to Mrs. Lucille Harty from Gambo South, Newfoundland, whose generous contribution made the televising of today's Mass possible. If you're interested in making monthly donations using the pre-authorized checking method, just call our office at 1-888-383-6277 for details. So